Well, hello, Cover Town friends. How y'all doing? Mom and I are ready for a quick, oh, that drop chins. Quick, simple supper tonight. And I'm talking about quick. I'm talking about simple and something we've done a hundred thousand times, but we've never done it this way. Never. Y'all been saying that chopped cold cut sandwich? We're going to try it. It can't be bad, can it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ain't it funny how you get used to something and then you're like, what? I'm going to give this a try. Just because it's not that serious and it's fun. Tonight's a fun night. Let's go to this cutting board. Let's get busy. Mom, I'm cooking your supper. The reason I'm laughing, Mama said, well, I go, what are you fixing? I said, some chopped cold cut sandwich. She said, what? <laughs> you could have heard her, <laughs> the sound of her voice. Okay, let's get us some lettuce on this cutting board. Get some lettuce. Get some lettuce. Now, this lettuce is in this Fridge Smart. Now, they've got a huge deal on Fridge Smarts. I've not had a chance to show y'all, but I'm going to. They've got some Vera Bradley things on there, too. I'm going to show you those. Those are, I think, quickly going. Um, it's lunch containers. they got the Vera Bradley pattern. I think at one of the stores, you can get those um, bags. We don't sell them. It's not affiliated with Tupperware, but you can get the same pattern for the bags. I heard Maria say. So, let's start with our bed of lettuce on our chopping board, okay? That looks delicious. I could eat just the lettuce. Let's put two whole slices of bologna. I don't have anything else. I did not prepare well. I thought I had some uh, Black Forest ham in there that I get at our at our, at our uh, Oh, you know, our store down there, this saves a lot. So let's put our bologna, just like that. And now let's put our cheeses. This is a little bit of Kobe. Let's put it there and put a couple of slices of American. Better skirt it out a little bit. Well, look at that. Don't that look like the beginnings of something? I think it does. This here is just the Mama Loves Bread and Butter Pickles. That's what this is. It's a few little bread and butter pickles. And I'm just going to put a few of them on here. Let's just scatter them out on there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I'm the one that's a little, you know, get a little sideways sometimes with some textures. Mama probably, this is one time Mama might say, hey, it's okay. And I might say, I don't think so. Who knows? This is the part I'm having a little trouble with. Right here. Now this is going to be... Let's see about this mess. I'm kind of excited to see if I'm going to even like it. But I think I... I don't think I'll hate it. I think I might just have a preference. I don't know. This may be the only way I ever do it again. Who knows? I might go, oh, that's so good. This is a little bit of salad dressing. Now, I know this ain't for everybody. Some of y'all out there are going, John, have you lost your mind? Yeah, I have. And this is just one of those fads you see on the Facebook, the TikTok, and all them things. Okay? Mama's left. Mama is through with us. She's gone. Mama? You coming back? Did, did we run you off? Did we run you off with this foolishness? Y'all ever just had one of those days? Okay, let's go back down here. Mama's really coming back. I'm just saying that we didn't really run her off. She was right back. Hold on. So this is the, now let's put our tomato. What's the tomato? Tomato, tomato, tomato. Now I got to tell you right now, I can just pick this up, put it on a, on a, a, a bun, and say, boy, that was good. I could. But I guess that ain't what I'm supposed to do. Well, I just now broke Mama's salt paper. No, I didn't. I just pulled it so hard on the wrong side. It, the lid came off. Salt. This is just table salt. Now, let's crack us some pepper on this. Since you're doing a specialty tonight, let's do some special pepper. This is just tricolor peppercorns. Let's just... 
crack some fresh pepper right on top of that. Okay. Now here's the part. I'm going to lose some of y'all. You're going to go, oh, that's a mess. I ain't fooling with him no more. Sorry. But this is what they're doing. His mama would say, if everybody jumped off a bridge, would you? And I would say, depends on how high it is, mama. <laughs> Come back down here. So let's, let's chop this up. This is what you're supposed to do now. You chop this up. I know. I ain't too crazy about it either. Some of y'all that's thinking about it. I'm thinking, I don't know. I've heard people say, oh, it's so good. John, you've not done that. It's so good. And I'm like, is it really any better? And they say, oh, it's tasty. You would like it. I don't know. Now, you could put some onion on here. I didn't because it's late. And I don't know if Mama wants onion on her sandwich. Normally, she don't. And we're going to share this mess. Well, I say we are. I don't know if Mama will even touch it. Mama might say, yeah, that's your mess. That's a hot mess right there, and I ain't feeling with it. That sounds like something Mama might say to me. I come up with some crazy stuff sometimes. And this even made me think, John, are you even going to try that? And then that 16-year-old kid in me said, let's give it a try. He gets me in trouble sometimes because he wants to do stuff. Then I'm thinking, that's not going to be any count. That's just a hot mess. Now, what are you feeling with that for? And then he'll talk me into doing something like that. Do y'all ever have that 16-year-old kid in you that talks you into doing stuff? Yeah, I guess we all do. So I'm just having to roll this up here. Tell me y'all have seen this before. Some of you are going to say, no, I've not seen that hot mess. Mama, I think she really, she's, she's offended. Mama has been offended by this whole situation. When she sent me piling all this up. And she's left us because she, she was in here. Mama, why'd you leave us? I had things I had to do. Uh-huh. I'll tell you, you got offended and you left. Uh-huh. Did you? What? Did you get offended at this hot mess? I might have. It might have been more than I could have. Smile and bear it, Mama, because you know. You know. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Mama, you made me cough. Did y'all hear her sigh? Mama, you act like you didn't even want to eat this. I'm just eating. Don't you look good? No. <laughs> Mama, I promise you, I didn't make this up. This is even a little far out for me. This is something they've been doing. You know, they do stuff all the time. They're too lazy to chew their food. <laughs> she didn't mean to hurt Charles' feelings. It might be good, but I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mama, I know you, and I know how you are. And this is like going against all your fibers. Yeah. Well, you get you a bun and get over here and taste of it. That's what I'm going to say. Don't you get it? What's all that got in it for us? Mama, nothing that you wouldn't eat. It's just your favorite pickles. If you'd have stayed in here and hadn't run off, you'd know. No spices except salt and cracked pepper. And mustard and salad dressing. All things you like. Get it, Mama. Go get it. I like a sandwich, but... Oh, Mama. Come on now. We got to stay on the cutting edge. <laughs> Mama, just work with me. Just work with me. I'll make you a steak or something later on tomorrow. Or the next day. When we get out of Bible school, we're going to have a full-fledged... A real... Some taters. Some taters and everything. Oh, People, work with me here. Work with me. Y'all encourage mama. Let me hear some encouragement. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. 
It's baloney. It is baloney. Who <laughs> asked that question? I'm afraid to read the comments tonight. I really am. John, that's not looking too good anymore. Well, Shirley, I know. Mama's right. Yeah, she usually is. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Terry. How are you? I can't wait to see Mama take a <laughs> We have done some crazy stuff. We have. This right here is going to rank up. I think it talked it. This right here is going to rank up there with it. Pretty high. She's taking a nap, I'm afraid now. All right, folks. It don't look that bad. Okay, let's think of it. It's a salad. It's a salad. It's, it's all that sandwich stuff. And it's chopped up nicely, I might add. And we're going to get, you know, it's like a ham salad with some veggies in it. So all you do now is just scoop this up here on your bread. For some of y'all ain't watching the internet, maybe, or Facebook or any of those things. This is going on. This is happening. This is happening right in your backyard and you may not even know it. So this is the chopped cold cut. Thing. You go ahead and get started. I know you can't wait. Uh, should I bless this before I even fix mine? Yeah, you better bless <laughs> But look here, Mom. I want to show you something. I just realized. Hmm. You know, normally we would take two pieces of bologna, put it on our bread, put our lettuce, put our tomato, and all this. But look here how much it made. I I'm not believing. I mean, that's Mama's already made up there, and I'm fixing me one. And there's enough for four sandwiches here at least. Maybe six. Good night. This may be the way to cook. This may be the way right here. This may be how you can feed a whole family of 12 on what you would normally feed a family of four. Now, it don't look horrible. It don't look great, baby. It don't look horrible. Look, there's enough for two sandwiches there. And we would have used that on both of these sandwiches, lettuce, tomato. You know, we would have put it on there. <laughs> Mama, work with me. Work with me. <laughs> come on, Mama. Come on. Let's bless it, folks. Woo! Bless it hard. <laughs> Mama, you had me tickled tonight. <clears throat> dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our body, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just thank you that you've blessed us to be able to buy these things and to take these things, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just ask you to be with each and every prayer request is out there. Those spoken and those unspoken, dear Lord, because we know that only you have the answers. Dear Lord, just pray that you'll be with all the children in this world and just put a head protection on each and every one of them. Keep them healthy and keep them safe. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mama, I'm going to... I'm going to... I put no more on. No, I ain't going to put no more. I'm going to... I'm going to clean this. This is a clean napkin. I, I'm going to cut yours because I know how you are. So... Now, Mama, give them the honest opinion. Don't... Don't prejudge... I want to know what it really tastes like before I put it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting you go first. It has to taste good. It's the same thing. Uh, it's clean. It's it's lettuce, tomato. It's all it is is a bologna sandwich. It's lettuce and tomato and bologna and cheese. Two chops of cheese and um, salad dressing and mustard and some um, good old uh, bread and butter pickles like you love. Come on, Mama, get on it. <laughs> one of y'all want now look it don't look bad it's like a ham salad with lettuce you want to take a bite <laughs> don't put alright here we go folks I'm going to take it because I'm afraid it's really good <laughs> <laughs> I mean all the flavors are together. It's like a salad. It's better than just a bologna and cheese sandwich. By chopping it up, getting all those flavors combined, it's like a potato salad. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it with ham and some stuff. Yeah. Go ahead, Mama, and tell the truth. Here, let's get a close-up on this. <laughs> Come on, Mama. You pulled one on me tonight. <laughs> Let's see it, Mama. Everybody's wanting to watch. Everybody look around right the eye. Watch her. 
Nu mag man. Go ahead, mama. Go ahead. Tell it like it is. Don't hold back. I'm looking for the world. Don't spare no feelings. Well, it actually don't taste bad. It's good, on it? Mm -hmm. I mean... It's like a salad on it. It's like a bologna salad or... You're going to be surprised when you all try it. You all will. Now, I know you think I wouldn't try that, John. <laughs> <laughs> But you will, eventually. I mean, it's good. It really is. I wouldn't lie to you. I have my doubts. Mm -hmm. And you like it. Yeah, it's pretty good for what it is. It's good and it, it, um, it's better than a, a layered sandwich. I mean, it's like a... It's like a bologna salad with cheese and lettuce and tomato. It's very tasty. I never eat cheese. A soft taco wrap would be good. Yeah, it would, Sue. This would be good in a wrap. You can make pinwheels out of these. You can roll them up, spread them out, roll them up, put them in the refrigerator, let them chill, and slice them up and have little pinwheels. This would be a good little pinwheel stuffing. Uh... I like bologna salad. I do too, Alice. But this ain't exactly like bologna salad. But you got your mayonnaise, you got your mustard. It's all good. That's the reason I haven't tried it because it wasn't nothing gross. It was just chopping it up made it feel gross. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But it did. But it, I mean, it, it don't even look ugly. In fact, if you've seen it in a bowl, it's pretty. I mean, it's green and red. and I mean, it's not bad. I guess it's just, we get those notions in our head, don't we? I mean, really, don't we? It's like, that don't look good. I mean, when I was even making it, I thought, we well, ain't going to eat this. We'll have to eat something else. I guess that you eat with your eyes first. I've just wasted two pieces of bologna, but not only am I going to eat this for supper, but I'm going to put that in a bowl. And if that lettuce don't go sideways, I'll eat it for lunch tomorrow. Chopped up lettuce with dressing on it sometimes don't make it too good. But, no. but uh, as far as the flavor goes, Ooh. having the pickles all through there. Yeah. I usually don't eat cheese on my bologna sandwich. Mm -hmm. I just eat bologna and tomato and mayonnaise. But it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Who would have thunk it? Not me, not really. But I just thought we're gonna try that tonight. It's quick, it's easy. Wednesday. Wherever you watch that, don't watch it no more. Don't get no more out of it. No, I think it's good. You don't, you wouldn't want me to try, you know what it would really be good is if you had some, um, I just had a thought. Would this not be good to do with some? Some good corned beef or pastrami and a little bit of, of um, Thousand Island dressing and a little bit of sauerkraut. Chop that up and put it on a piece of rye and have a chopped up Reuben. I'm thinking it might. Thinking it might. It's good. The chopped up, come you know, <laughs> the chopped up cold cut. Mom and I both say it's tasty and it tastes different than it does unchopped. Um, oh yeah. And it's better, isn't it, Mama? Yeah, you got all the different flavors. The flavor profiles blend well together. It's kind of like you know. Eat mayonnaise or mustard or potatoes and or celery, or chopping it all up and having potato salad. I mean, think about it. When you chop it all up, you're eating potato salad, but when you eat it separately, it don't seem the same. It don't taste the same. But this creates a new profile. And y'all see me? You've seen everything I put in it. 
I'll tell you one thing. It's at least twice as good as I thought it was going to be. At least. Because I wasn't really thinking. It's a whole lot better than I thought it was going to be. I really was wondering. Well, first of all, I was wondering, will Mama even take a bite? Then I was wondering, will she even eat it? And she's eating half a sandwich. All right, folks. Just remember, when you turn into coffee time. You can say anything. <laughs> you can say anything here. Well, one thing about it, if laughter is good medicine, I've had some good medicine. You have made me laugh, Mama. <laughs> Woo! What are y'all eating? Anything good? <laughs> Would you just like to chop it? Mama said, don't be watching that stuff anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Calissa, that's... <laughs> that is what she said. Wherever you've seen this, don't watch it no more. <laughs> I'm used to it. And another thing, and I've said it well ago, but it bears repeating. Look how much is left. There's enough for two more sandwiches. And I would have put every bit of that on two sandwiches. I would have stacked the lettuce. I would have put tomatoes. I would have put a piece of bologna. I'd put a piece of American, a piece of Kobe, and uh, a little salad dressing, a little mustard, salt and pepper. And I'd eat it. And here it is. Here's enough for two more sandwiches, at least. So, if nothing else, and these are not skimpy sandwiches. Mama, can I fix you another? No. But you are eating that one, ain't you? Yeah. Still a lot better than I thought. It's not bad. It really isn't. So, if your kids have seen that and you're saying, I ain't doing that hot mess. <laughs> Where have you seen that at? Don't watch it no more. That's right. <laughs> Kids, you tell them, say, John and Mama done it, and even Mama ate it. If they know Mama, they may let you do it, because they'll say, well, she ate it. She's picky. Look, she's picking it up. She, she, she's sopping. <laughs> She's sopping her bread Honey, with the ingredients. I dropped my tomato and cheese off. So. We sop biscuits in the South. Do y'all sop things? Like you take a biscuit and you sop up off your plate, rake it around, and you eat that last bite because it's so good. Folks, we know this ain't for everybody, and we just carrying on a little bit tonight. <laughs> but it is good. It is good. And we would say, give it a try. You might be surprised. Now, you could eat this on crackers, too. You could eat this on, like somebody said, on a tort flour tortilla. Wrap it up, roll it up. Mm, that would be even better, probably, wouldn't it, Mama? That might be. That would be good. You could put it in a flour tortilla, roll it up, put it in the refrigerator for a while, cut it out, make pinwheels. That would be good. I'll let you know if it held overnight, because I'm going to put this in a container. Um, most of the time, lettuce and dressing. I don't know why, even if I make it in the morning and I put my salad dressing over it, the salad ain't good at lunch. So this may not be great tomorrow with the, what lettuce I put in there, but it wouldn't hurt the bologna, it wouldn't hurt the cheese or the tomatoes. So you might leave the lettuce out and put a piece of lettuce on your bun and then just chop everything else up. Couldn't you, Mom? Yeah. If you put it in fish, fridge smart, it might hold up a little better. I'll put it in a fridge smart. Instead of a wrapper, though. Mm -hmm. Don't miss out on any sales in Tupperware because I'm busy. These fridge smarts, you buy one, you buy a set, get a set, and I think it's $99. And it's not just this bow. And they even have the tall bow, too. It's not a part of the set. We'll get them out and we'll show y'all on a Tupperware demo. So y'all will know. But these are wonderful. This is that lettuce I had the other day. It's just, it's just fresh. It's the first day I put it in there. It really is. And I broke the rules. I washed it. And you're not supposed to wash it when you put it in here. But I did, and it's still fresh. And it lasts longer, not having a Right. It lasts if you don't wash it. Just take it out of the bag. It come in and put it in unwashed. Wash it as you go. But this came out of the garden. 
out of my aunt's garden. So I washed it and just laid it out on town, let it dry, and uh, put it in here. So I guess the secret really is is not washing it. Type of world say, Tom, don't be telling secrets because you don't know. You're making up stuff. <laughs> yeah. They're not wrong. I think the secret is don't put it in here wet. Washing it probably won't hurt it. So if you want to wash your berries or wash something um, in the lettuce, like this lettuce, you see how crispy it is. Look, it's still just as fluffy. The day we made the kill lettuce, remember I didn't use it all? Uh, but I let it dry before I put it in here. So I think the secret is not, not, not washing it. I think the secret is don't store it wet. <clears throat> That's just what I think. All right, Mama. I may start chopping up all your food like this. Oh, uh, I don't think so. It, this is good, but that's hard. To <laughs> think of everything. <laughs> like, I could chop your pork chops, your mashed potatoes, your gravy, your pork and beans, and a biscuit up. Oh, no, we can't either. <laughs> How about mashed potatoes, green beans, and a piece of meatloaf? Ooh. Chop that. I was thinking about meatloaf and peas today. You was? You didn't fix them. I know it. Don't have time to do all of that for. But We've got to go to Bible school. We get to go to Bible school. We were talking about that the other day. Why do we say things like, I can't go Sunday, I have to go to church, when we don't mean that we have to, we get to. It's just not the yeah. common language. I mean, I wouldn't miss Bible school. I was afraid I was going to have a late meeting tonight and not be able to get to Bible school, and I was worried. I wouldn't miss Bible school for anything if I could help it. Um, but it is tiring, and it's okay to be tired. It's okay to know that, like, you know, if you have a long week of revival or you've done a lot of activity, it's just the activities and the physical part of it. Uh, so it's okay to feel tired, but you've got the memories. We've done Bible school for in my whole life. I've either been a child in Bible school or worked in Bible school or taught Bible school or directed Bible school for my whole life. And uh, it's important. Uh -huh. Really, I have. It's important. Because I taught Bible school when you was a baby. Mama taught Bible school. Um, I love it. And if you're a church, even if you're a small church, you know, we don't have a great number of children. I think we've had... Uh, 28, 29 kids, 30 kids. That's pretty good for a little country church. And they've loved it and they've enjoyed it and it's a good experience. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. All right, folks. I'm going to put this hot mess <laughs> in a fridge smart and see if I can have it for lunch tomorrow. Uh, Mama, you want me to save you something for lunch? No. I might eat it for lunch with some crackers or something. I'll save you some. I'll fix you a little cup and a little cup. Um, but it is good. Mama ate a whole half a sandwich of it. That's about what I eat. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's about what she eats. A half of a hamburger or a half of a sandwich. Half. It's about with the bread. That's about all she does is half a bun. So, uh, Mama, we can show them this part. It's like it's brand new. This is just like downtown. One of y'all was here, I'll let you take a bite of that because now there ain't nothing wrong with that. And it's pretty there. Now you gotta admit, on that bun, let's slide you over there the front stage. On that bun, it's pretty. On that chopping board, it's not so pretty. It's a hot mess. But it tastes good. And that's what counts. Mm -hmm. Folks, we thank you. And what we thank you for being here. We thank you for putting up with us and our foolishness. Um, everything don't have to be serious. Sometimes things can just be fun. And entertaining to you and to just enjoy it. To us. To us. <laughs> We've laughed real good because when Mama said, what are you talking about? A chopped cold cut. I said, Mama, I'm going to lay all this stuff out on this cutting board here in a minute. <laughs> and I'm going to chop it up with that big purple Tupperware knife. And she said, and do what with it? <laughs> Eat it. Now, I don't know about that hot mess she said. <laughs> It worked out good. It yeah. did. It did. Y'all have a blessed night. Enjoy yourself. Find you something good to eat. You don't have to chop it all up either. No. But if you do a cold cut, chop up. Mama's phone's ringing. Mama, don't answer it till we get gone. <laughs> uh, 
Mama said goodbye. Good night, Mama. God bless you. Bye, y'all. We appreciate you being here. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye, bye. It's a toll free call. We don't charge a toll for anybody. <laughs> Mama has all kinds of calls like that. Y'all have a blessed night. Say a prayer for us at Bible school. We'll be praying for y'all. Y'all pray for us. Ooh, we get music. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, okay.